This is Dabu7. An update to the situation here between China and the United States, or should we say between Trump and Xi Jinping. We have Trump now saying that so much for China working with us to try to fix the situation with North Korea. Apparently, he was trying to lean on them heavily to try to get some kind of result, uh, sanctioning something to go into their favor in terms of getting North Korea to back down. Now, China is saying that on the other side of the table, the U.S. has done some things to tick them off. They just struck up a huge arms deal with Taiwan, which makes them uncomfortable. They've also stepped back up to the plate with Russia, dropping all these threats, saying, you know, well, me and me, we and Russia are in this together. If you want to mess with one of us, you're messing with both of us. And what they've done together is try to call for a stop to any of the aggressive stuff going on around the peninsula. Also trying to call for the stop of the nuclear program. Although when they state, they state that, they say that North Korea has a right to defend itself and shouldn't just get bullied. Now, China basically warned Trump and said, look, you better switch up the way that you're doing things. China sl gets slammed by Trump then on the whole trade deal and says, should we continue launching trade deals with countries that will not help us? This is important because this is a huge shift. If they could dissolve any other deals that they've had just in a day's time, that could shift things big time. But it looks like with this warning from China, they're making other moves as well. China's Shenyang City has banned individual visas for South Korean trips. This is a new move that was just made yesterday. Really, you can see here, it is the fi China's first prohibition of individual visas for South Korean trips. Now, this is interesting because they may think something's going on. And, of course, they say in the end here, this has everything to do with the THAAD system that is set up there. China wants out of there. But all of a sudden, they're stopping people from traveling to South Korea from these areas. Another interesting thing to make note of. But there's a lot more information here at these links. I will leave them in the description box below, and I will continue to update with more info as I come across it. Make sure to tune in to Underground World News Live this Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 777. Peace.